Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, let's say you are making a character and you need a quick way to make uh, bullets, right? What would be the fastest way to kind of uh, create a custom curve that runs uh, maybe across your character's chest or something like that and you want to just very quickly create some kind of a detail that um, is in the form of bullets, right? So there's uh, a bunch of different ways. You can create your own IMM brushes and just do an insert or there's one that already exists in ZBrush. And let me just show you how that works. And uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because I honestly just watched uh, Michael Pavlovich show a really cool trick to use the slice curve to create a custom curve for the uh, IMM brush to follow. And I wanted to try that and that's kind of the reason for this video, right? So let's uh, take a look and see how this works. So I'm gonna go to my light box and in this case I'm just gonna grab this male uh, character and I'm gonna say no. So this is um, the default base mesh here in ZBrush. I'm gonna go to geometry and I don't really need any high uh, subdivision levels. I'm gonna dial them down and delete higher, right? Now if I turn my polyframe, you can see this is the base mesh, default base mesh of the male character in uh, ZBrush, right? All right, cool. So now uh, let's see, how do we add bullets to this guy? So what I could do is I can go to my brushes I can press I and in here there's something called IMM army uh, curve right if I go in there uh, you can see there's bullets right there right so if I just simply select it and attempt to drag it on my character you can see that the bullets are will automatic automatically be created that's cool let's say I want to do a belt of bullets right how do I do that I can just start dra uh, dragging along the surface press shift go off the uh, off the mesh and now a circle forms and now if I let it go I can see the bullets go all the way around if I wanted to adjust the curve I can attempt to move it around uh, carefully and sometimes that will create some distortion here and there so you want to be mindful but that's how you do it uh, all at once going all the way around right uh, fantastic what if I wanted to do something really more uh, custom? What if I wanted my bullets go uh, all the way around his uh, chest, right? To do that, I can start dragging. For example, if I go this way, you can see the bullets are facing down. If I start dragging this way, they're gonna face up. So that's important for someone who is new as well. Keep that in mind. Uh, that's gonna uh, be, uh, that's how you can control kind of the direction. Let's say I wanna face them down and I wanna have it go all the way around. Well, I could start dragging and then I can just uh, kind of find the uh, point where um, I stopped. You can see a little red line appears. And then I, just, I can just continue dragging and go all the way around. So let me uh, let me just do that real quick. I can just continue finding that red line. All right, and then let's say uh, towards the uh, bottom here, let's say I want to have this piece connect with this piece. How do I do that? Uh, all I need to do is to again find that little red line make my uh, little curve section and just hover over that red circle and just let it go. And that will automatically kind of connect or snap it together. And sometimes if it's not a perfect snap, you'll have a little issue. So you will have to kind of move the curve around and just make sure it fits on the mesh, right? So that's uh, that's important and that's how, uh, that's how you would do it. But uh, the trick that Michael showed that's uh, very useful and a lot of times if you have a custom mesh, uh, this could be somewhat difficult. So there is a more precise way of doing this uh, all at once very quickly. So let me show you that. So let me go ahead and undo this. Let's get rid of all of that. And uh, let's see what is this other way. So this other way is holding down control and shift, jumping into your brushes, uh, going into quick picks and choosing slice curve. Once you choose your slice curve, you can just make a slice and usually you wanna be in the polyframe so you can see your polygroups. But if you hold on uh, control shift, start dragging, press space bar, you can move this around and just decide of the angle of, let's say you want your curve to be for it. In this example, let's say I want my bullets to, you know, be something like this, right? Now, what I could do is I can take this line that's going all the way around that was created automatically and just turn that into a curve path. So to do this, I'm gonna go to stroke, go to curve functions, and here, just you can uh, unclick border and creased edges. Just make sure polygroups is selected and just click frame mesh. That's going to create this custom uh, curve go going all the way around. Now I can just select my bullets and just simply click uh, one time. 
and that's going to automatically uh, give me the uh, the bullets going all the way around. So much, much easier and very fast, right? Of course, changing the size of the brush is going to control the size of the bullets. And then the other thing you might know you might want to know is the distance or the depth between the mesh and the bullets is controlled by the depth uh, here, and that's going to be under brush brush depth brush placement. So this little circle is how you can control it. So if I move this all the way up and click on my bullets, you can see how now they're spaced uh, too far in, and then vice versa. If I go inside the mesh, uh, that's going to be not good either, right? So you want to find a good placement like that. Okay, very cool. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's the uh, trick. You just use the slice curve, and then once you're done, just click to bake your mesh. Go uh, into Sub Tools. Let's go do a split on mast. Right, we'll put the bullets on its own layer. And now, uh, as long as I'm in the right layer for the mesh, I can probably uh, you know get rid of this nonsense. Right, I don't want to keep this topology, especially if I'm making uh, you know a, a real character like a, uh, with nice topology. I can just just take my history slider and just dial this back down to the point where um, that's not a problem and just unhide my bullets, right? All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for joining me in this video. Maybe this will uh, help you on your uh, journey and I'll see you guys in our next one.